see the American flag. Oh! You know, I can understand that, sure, of course. But, like, as an American citizen, if you see the American flag and you get angry, bro... What? Call me a, call me a fascist for waving the American flag? Like, bro... What are you even... What are you talking about? That doesn't even make any sense, dude. Crazy. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Truth, give me a number between 1 and 10. If you get it right, you get my Bitcoin. 3. 3. You don't see it? I'm telling you, bro. It's there. I'm telling you. Juji. I don't want to go deep. I don't want to go too deep into it, bro. I, 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 I. We've gone too far. This is second channel talk, all right? This is second channel talk. If I start talking about these topics, YouTube's gonna censor my account, bro. And, you know, they, you know, big, big bad, uh, big bad YouTube algorithm will come, come hammering me down if I start talking about those topics, bro. That's second, that's second, uh, second channel topics, dude. And I'm easily sidetracked, bro, especially stuff that, you know, I'm low-key really, really passionate about, but I can't talk about it on my main channel because of all the censorship in today's day and age. All right, good game, bro. When a political channel plays Arsenal, it's not a political channel, bro. <laughs> I mean, I probably could become a political channel, honestly. I mean, I even got the name for it, Truth Behind the Lies. Oh, I could probably, I could do it. I could do it, but I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Anyone who knows anything about politics, if you've watched me enough, I think you know. I think you know what I am. All right, let me put it this way. I love my free speech. I love my guns, my second amendment. All right, I'm very pro-American. I love America. You know what I mean? Hey, right, bye. Love you too, bye. You know what I mean? I support the family unit, unit, you know what I mean? It's very easy to see who, what I am. I mean... I don't need to spell it out for you. Alright, good luck, bro. Internet has become the absolute snowflake. Not all of it, but all the, all the big social media giants, yes. I mean, there's still places where you can go in, in, in safety and have your freedom of speech and talk about any topic you want, you know what I mean? But the media will label those places, you know, with all sorts of crazy stuff. I mean, the media the media will put crazy labels on those. Yeah, like 4chan, exactly. Me personally, you know, I've been, uh, I've been using 4chan for years, bro. I'm gonna go out and say it, bro. I, yeah, I go to 4chan all the time. I love 4chan. You know, you know... Media, you know what I'm saying? The media, the media makes 4chan out to be like this crazy wasteland. You know what I'm saying? It's just, a, it's just a forum, bro. It's a platform for people to be able to talk about various topics. You know, it's probably the most diverse platform in existence. A right, good game, dude. Dad says 4chan is bad because he probably heard it from the news, bro. Yeah, they don't know what 4chan is, dude. 4chan is literally anything and everything, bro. You know what I mean? You, know, you got everything on there. It's one of the only bastions of uh, free speech left on the internet. You know what I mean? You can go on there to talk about your your My Little Pony collection. You know, you can go on there to talk about anime. You know, you can go on there to talk about video games. You know, you can literally just... Yeah, exactly. 4chan's literally, it's just like Reddit. It's just like Reddit, except they don't censor you. At least not as much. I mean, if you there's certain rules you can't break, and you have to stay on certain topics, but they don't... You know, it's just like Reddit. It's just like Reddit. But, you know, because you're allowed to talk about topics that, you know, on Reddit you'd get permabanned if you talked about some of these topics. But 4chan allows it, because, you know, it's freedom of speech. Talk about whatever kind of topics you want. You know what I mean? On 4chan, you can, yeah, you can talk about whatever. It's not, you know, it's fine. So many Arsenal hackers this evening, really? That sucked. 
That sucks, man. Have I ever wanted purple team? I mean, yeah, purple team would be cool, sure, but I mean, it's nothing I really, you know, not like it's not something I think about really at all, honestly. It would be, it would be interesting. But I'm not like, you know, it's not really something I, I, you know, I'm not worried about it. Whoa, jeez. How old am I? I'm 23. 23 years old. Would I make a rap for it? Um... Yeah, 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 I probably would. I mean, if if I got offered the same offer as Bandites, yeah, I probably would do it. Sure. You'd be looking forward to seeing me rap? I've had a couple rap videos in the past, actually. Real low-key. Real, real low-key. None of you guys... No one watching has ever seen it. Nobody, I, I could say with like 99.9% .9 certainty, none of you guys here have seen my rap videos. They've been locked away for quite some time. They were very cringy. They were very cringy, by the way, might I add. They were not good by any means. Not, in, not by any means were they good. They were very cringy. Are they public? No, oh no, no, they've been they've been locked in the vault, bro. They're not no, those are not public. They exist. They're out there somewhere. I'm sure you could find them. I'm sure you could find them. Seen them, have you? They're cringy, bro. They're cringy. What about cars? I mean I I like cars. I enjoy driving. Um, but I'm not like a huge car guy either, you know? Yo, Jason Players, Jason thank you for the two dollars, bro. $2. I appreciate that. Yeah, you got it, man. Me and my user is perm underscore rank. Yeah, you got it, bro. Of course. I'll add you in a second. You'll be right after this one. Dizzy isn't really the best 1v1 map in your opinion. Okay, that's your opinion. I mean, in my opinion, it's the only 1v1 map. Honestly, I know that might sound crazy. That might sound like blasphemy. But in my opinion, a true 1v1 map needs to have some level of, like, symmetry. You know, some level of, like, predictability. You know, it needs to have, like, you know... It needs to be, like, a fair map. In my opinion. And I think Dizzy is literally the only map that has that. Good game, Wild Fox Extreme. I think I think Dizzy is the only true one v one map in the entirety of Arsenal. I mean, Abandoned Arena, the original Abandoned Arena, before they added the huge hallways, that one could have been one. That one was definitely uh, a contender. Subway, um, potentially, maybe, maybe. I think it's a little bit too, a little bit too big, a little bit too many hallways. But I mean, honestly, if you want a real true 1v1 map, in my opinion, like you gotta have, like, let me show you the perfect 1v1 map in my, in my head. Not literally, but watch. Well, uh, you know, that's the border of the map. And then, you know, two spawns. One here, one here. You know what I mean? You have, you know, cover, cover, blocking. You know what I mean? Maybe some cover here, cover here. You know what I mean? Cover here, cover here, and same thing, you know? Cover here, cover here, cover here, cover here. So it immediately gives you different, you know, this, um, I'll use orange for like the pathing, you know what I mean? Different, you know, avenues you can do. You know what I'm saying? Maybe uh, like a little elevated, maybe like a ladder, right? Ready? I'll use the red to illustrate a ladder. Maybe like um, an upper platform. You know what I mean? Same thing, on, literally same thing on the other side. You know what I mean? We'll do it on the, um, this side though. You know what I mean? In, in my opinion, a true 1v1, the spawns are different. Bro, this isn't to scale. I'm, I'm drawing this up on paint real quick. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, um, you know, we'll, um, this will be, you know, uh, I'll use yellow to represent this. This middle will be like a trench. 
You know what I mean? And it, it's like a slow, like, grade in, like a slow hill that goes down into it. You know what I mean? With some more various, like, various different, like, uh, like boxes, you know, a little cover, a little peak points, whatever. But my point is, in my opinion, a, tr a true 1v1 map needs to have a, a, a decent level of symmetry. It needs to be, it needs to be predictable, but yet at the same time have different um, areas of, of attack. You know what I think would make Dizzy the perfect map? You know what, you know what I think would, um, you know what I think would really help make Dizzy just pop? Um, you see these doors right here? You see these doors right here? This is my opinion. These doors are on both sides of the map. Put them right here. Put them right here, bro, honestly. Put them right here. So you go in this way instead. For real, I think that would make it really pop because it would be one less angle that you can't watch constantly. Because the, the reality of it is, right? All right, this, all right, it started, I have to be careful. But the reality of it is if you stand right here, you can see everything. There is not a single thing they can do that you won't see. You can see, there's only, there's only so many angles they can come from and you can see them all. If you changed where that door came from, if you put the door right here, that would fix that. That would, that would immediately nerf that spot. And then to add on to it, here, you see this, this, and this, open it up, right? Because the whole reason people don't like Dizzy is because it's too predictable. It's too predictable, and you can spawn camp too well. Which I agree. No, I agree to a, to a degree, I agree. But I think those two changes would make Dizzy just about perfect. Because it would still make it a nice symmetrical map. It would still make it a nice symmetrical map. It would still be really good for 1v1s, in my opinion. But it would make it so it's less uh, predictable. On, on almost every single map, there's like a, a one or two spots that are just absolutely OP. And if the first person to get to that point, it, it's let's, let's pretend that they, you have two people that are exactly equal in skill. Like literally, like, let's say I clone myself. Let's say I had a clone of myself and I 1v1'd myself. And I did it on, I don't know, hillside, right? And one person spawns on, the, on downhill, one person spawns by the tree. The person on the tree gets on that rooftop first. That that clone, that version of truth is going to win. Because that's the that's the better spot. That is the best spot. So if you have two people of exact equal skill, and they and one of them gets to the the, the the OP spot first, they are going to win that game. On Dizzy, that can't happen. Because it's it's symmetrical. That's why I think, in my opinion, a good 1v1 map needs to be symmetrical. That's why I like Dizzy, because it is the only map like that on, on Odyssey, other than Abandoned Arena.